AI is here to stay. And the big question is not should we be afraid of it, but how you as a UI designer can start leveraging AI in your daily workflow. So we're gonna take a look at 10 tools that you should be using or should keep your eye on right now. All right, the first AI tool that you should be using right now every single day as a UI and or UX designer is FigJam AI. Figma has integrated artificial intelligence into their tool, but only in the FigJam space so far. So we can open up FigJam, which is a tool that we all know and love that we can wireframe in, or we can do user flow diagrams and do all sorts of fun stuff. But what we can also do now is head up to the top left-hand section of FigJam, open up AI, drop in a prompt, like a flow chart for a mobile banking app, log in and sign up flow, press generate and watch FigJam do the magic of creating the diagram for us. This is all the minutia and that detail oriented stuff that we have to do as UI and UX designers, but don't really want to do. And FigJam AI makes it really, really easy. Again, just skipping a lot of monotonous work. Next up is a tool brought to us by Pablo Stanley and his team. This is Mushu and it's where user interface meets artificial intelligence. It allows you to get 80% of the way, they say, as we're designing landing pages and screens. I can jump into Figma, open up the plugin, drop in a prompt like a podcast landing page with episode list and newsletter sign up and hit generate and Mushu is going to instantly start building this one page landing page for me. All right, Mushu is done doing its work. We could actually just close it out, take a look at the landing page that it designed for us in maybe 30 or 40 seconds. And again, is it the final thing? No, but it's telling us it's gotten us pretty close. Everything is built inside of Figma in auto layouts. Everything's really, really structured and it doesn't actually look so bad. We've got newsletter signups, latest episodes, a nice big hero image in the header. And if you don't like that, sure, you can update it and change it, but this is a great start to designing websites and interfaces using AI. It's only gonna get better, I think, so you should definitely check out Mushu. Next up is a tool we all know and love at this point, that's ChatGPT. It's very, very helpful for writing copy, uh, building user personas, generating all sorts of user research for our projects. But we could definitely come right in and do the simple thing, which is prompt it to write us some copy for a podcast listing page or landing page and all the sections included. And of course, ChatGPT is gonna spit out that content. If you're not using ChatGPT, generate basic copy ideas and kickstart your creativity with words, then you should definitely jump in and start using ChatGPT because look how much work it can do in such a short amount of time. Next up, let's talk about some image generation options. I still think to this day, the best image generator is gonna be Midjourney, which operates inside of a Discord, but pretty soon we're gonna have the ability to prompt directly in the tool. But look at the types of images it can make. You can browse through, you can search prompts, you can upscale these, zoom out, you can do all sorts of amazing stuff Mid Journey is just getting better and better. And again, it's still to this day, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best image generating tool, AI driven on the market right now. But if we're gonna talk about image generation, as well as a lot of other cool things that AI can do, Adobe's Firefly AI technology can be very, very helpful for UI designers because this AI technology can allow us to generate text to image. We can do generative fill. We get cool text effects. If we wanna do something unique and interesting in our interface, this is not a bad option because we can also do inside of things like Illustrator, generative recolor, text to manipulate, and text to vector graphics, which is pretty awesome. You're able to insert some pretty amazing, unique, and different illustrations. If you're tired of searching the web for illustrations, you might just wanna use something like Adobe Firefly, and all of this can be immediately accessed through the free tool that is Adobe Express. So definitely check out those tools and how you might integrate them into your workflow. This next one you may have not known is actually AI powered, but FontJoy is gonna create really interesting, unique, and cool font pairings. It's not just guessing things randomly. We can generate some cool font pairings. And if we really like something that we found, for instance, like maybe I really love this uh, Sanchez font, I can lock it. And that's actually creating almost a prompt that's saying, hey, we need to generate something interesting based off of our locked selection. We can do that and it continues to use AI in the background 
generate interesting font pairings. If you struggle with font pairings, then FontJoy might be a great tool for you to start using. Likewise, ColorMind is also a color palette generator that is AI driven. It allows you to generate really cool and unique color palettes. And then we have a bunch of cool associated color palettes down below. You can actually jump over to each of the individual colors and tweak and change them. Again, you can lock them in like this and keep generating. And it's gonna use AI in the background to make those decisions for you to make your job selecting and building color palettes just that much easier. But that's Color Mind. Again, links down in the description. Check it out. All right, now we're going to get into some gray area and troubled waters as UI designers. Will we or will we not use interface builders? The first one on the list is UIZERD. A lot of people love this. A lot of people hate this, but you're able to enter in a prompt again, like a banking app of some kind. Choose some prompts down here and then instantly generate your project. And there we have it pretty quickly within about 60 seconds or so is generated uh, the exact prompt we gave it. It shows a certain style and a direction. Now we can continue to reprompt this, change it, tweak it, but this is not going to be your final design guaranteed, but it again has gotten you a pretty decent way. You can zoom in and see that this may not be your cup of tea as far as designs go but it is already all prototyped together and it gives us a pretty good idea of the type of elements we might find. So do you like this? Do you hate this? Again, pretty controversial for a lot of UI designers right now. A lot of people think that maybe a tool like this is gonna take their job. I don't think it's gonna take your job, but I do think it might kickstart some of that creativity save you some of the hassle, and that is UIZER. Next up is another tool that has a lot of UI capabilities as an AI-driven tool, and that is Visily. When we go into Visily, we actually have an entire section in their designer dedicated to AI-driven techniques and tools. One of them that I really, really enjoy, and we'll just show this one, is the sketch to design beta that they have going on right now. I can actually click that and we can get some sample sketches or I could upload one of my own, but I'm able to maybe have a hand-drawn sketch I had laying around and I can upload that and it is going to do the work of turning that from low fidelity into a high fidelity design for me. All right, and just like that, within a few seconds, it actually has editable input fields. It's tried to honor that sketch as much as possible. Is it perfect? We got some weird stuff going on here for sure, but does it have potential? I think so. so we might be wanting to keep an eye on Visly and all the different tools that I don't even have time to cover today that are built into their AI section, like theme generators and lo-fi to hi-fi and screenshots to design. It's able to do some really cool stuff. Don't be scared, check it out. Last one on the list is actually not even out and in production, but you can get on the waiting list if you are interested, and that is Genius UI. This is a way for you to actually generate UI components in both imagery and code, both the design file and the code, simply by using ChatGPT. So we're gonna harness the power of ChatGPT, GPT-4 to generate UI components. And when they say components, I don't know much about it, but it does seem like it's spitting out actual functioning code as well as the component itself. So kind of interesting, kind of cool to be using ChatGPT maybe in the future, the design and not only design, but instantly code those components. Is that going to be part of our daily workflow? I just don't know at this point, but it can sign up if you want to for the waiting list to see what happens with this one. And that's it. That's 10 tools you can either be using or keeping your eyes on right now that are AI driven for UI designers. Let me know what you think down in the comments and you can find the links to all of these down in the description. Also, if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you know when more videos like this one come out and I'll see you in the next one.